student. Yes. Why not, Chris? Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, my name is Alex Hawk. I'm a frequent TriMet Choice rider of lines 12, 94. Um, occasionally, I ride uh, 76, 56, 14, 10, 96, 58, 20, and 72. Uh, I like riding the bus. I think it's very scenic for the most part. Uh, and with the rising uh, cost of gas, uh, I really can't afford to uh, maintain a vehicle. Uh, first, I'd like to offer my deepest condolences to uh, Doris Bolhanna, who was the uh, rail supervisor hurt in, um, I think, the accident that was occurred on Sunday. Wishing for a speedy recovery on that. Um, first, I'd like to talk about, I think something needs to be done about the age of the bus fleet. According to an outside source, 30% of TriMet buses are long overdue for uh, replacement. And according to the FTA, a bus for a public transport agency as big as TriMet is due for replacement every 12 years or every 500,000 miles, whichever comes first. Yet this morning, I rode on a 22-year-old Gillig Phantom high floor bus, and it didn't sound too healthy. Um, it started rattling around and I was having a conversation with the operator on where I should uh, um, take on which bus to get here from where I get off downtown. It was very hard to listen to them because all the windows were rattling and uh, made things a little difficult. Uh, I'm very happy to hear about the purchase of 55 new uh, Gillick 3000 buses and I'm even more excited to hear that 14 more um, are being purchased and will enter service uh, at the end of September. I look forward to uh, hitching a ride on one of those. So, I think something needs to be done about, you know, the high floor buses and the conditions that they're, because they're very expensive to maintain. And did anyone take the bus here? I'm curious. Yes. yes. Very good. Neil? Very good. <laughs> because I think in order to actually see and experience, I mean, I think, excuse me, I think to actually know the conditions of the buses, you have to ride on it. Because if you're not riding on it, how can you know what you know what your passengers are saying? Because I know a lot of passengers who um, are in wheelchairs and they don't find the high floor buses to be um, efficient. And I'm seeing a lot of high floors on the 12 route, which is what I take the most. Um, finally, um, the ticket machine situation. I know this has kind of been a notorious thing for many years. I know the official motto is that 93 to 95% of the machines are working at, every, at any given time, but I'm really finding that hard to believe because uh, almost daily on my commute, I'm seeing at least one, two, maybe even three machines at any platform that says only taking cards or only taking um, bills or cash or exact fare. And if it's only giving you that option, I really don't consider that to be and I'd like to conclude by saying that I think TriMet needs to um, embrace the uh, Twitter account that they are using and use it a little bit more for service alerts other than uh, uh, Max LightRail because um, I think it was a couple weeks ago, wasn't it 10 routes that were canceled out of Powell? Was it that? Could be. I'm not sure. Okay. Well, a couple bus routes were canceled and that left a lot of riders, you know, clueless. And I think with the growth of social media, TriMet could really use something like Twitter for quick responses for riders who really do need help. And, you know, I can ask a question and then I receive a reply about a day later. Well, that's great. That would have helped when I was actually riding the bus. So, thank you for your time and uh, have a good rest of the day. Thank you. Thank you, Alex.